Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a review for this Rofi 200 watt um, foldable solar panel. And so this is going to be a pretty, um, you know, not exactly quick review. Uh, well, it might be a quick review depending on how long I film. But uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty um, easy to understand. You know, I'm just going to be uh, using this Rofi 200 watt panel to recharge this Bluetooth AC2A power station. Um, this uh, Bluetooth AC2A power station does have a 200 watt max solar recharge speed and this is a 200 watt panel so therefore i think it's going to be a perfect match i expect to recharge this power station 200 percent using this rofi solar panel uh granted that it performs uh well enough uh because this uh, power station does have a 204 watt hour capacity i believe and so you know if i'm getting some really good sun exposure and you know getting nearly 200 watts um i should be able to recharge this power station from zero from zero percent to 100 percent within about maybe <clears throat> um, three hours, I'd say, with solar recharging only. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, just taking a look at the uh, Rofi solar panel itself, um, that's the panel right there folded up. I think it does have a 24 inch length when it's fully folded up like this. Uh, what's included in the box is the panel, of course, a manual, and you also get this, I think, one, two, three, uh, six in one solar charging cable that's connected to MC4 connectors. Yeah, so this is actually pretty awesome. This is like, something that I think every single solar panel should include uh, because you do get the XT60 uh, connector right over here. I think this is a DC7909 connector. Uh, this is a DC6530 connector. I think this one is the DC35135 connector right over here. <clears throat> uh, this is the Anderson connector. And right over here um, at this end is the DC5521 connector. Uh, so yeah, all sorts of connectors right over here. I think you're going to be able to charge most power stations um, with this six in one cable. Um, you know, once again, it, this is included in the box. So that was a very nice touch. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's it right there. Um, let me just go ahead and get this table cleared real quick to uh, unfold the panel completely and show you guys what the panel looks like when, it, when it's unfolded. Okay, well, actually, before um, we get to unfolding, uh, let me just show you guys the panel itself when it's folded up just like this. Um, I think it does have a total of three kickstands that you can use to hold up the panel. Um, you see just like that right there. So that's a pretty nice touch. Um, I think I'm gonna be using the uh, kickstands in this review and just taking a look at the um connectors inside the panel pouch um i think every single solar panel has this type of like setup right over here that they have the connectors and the cabling um inside this type of pouch of course for uh you know protection and uh, so yeah it does have a mc4 connector right there i think it does give you the specifications right there as well um apple power uh 200 watts open circuit voltage working voltage working current and short circuit current as well uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, let me just go ahead and get this unfolded to show you guys how it looks like. I think when it's completely unfolded, the panel has a 88 inch length. But uh, yeah, let me show you guys. All right. Um, so yeah, this is the panel completely unfolded. Um, of course, it doesn't take. Um, of course, it's too large for the table, so I had to extend it to the chair <laughs> right over here. Um, so yeah, I mean, as I mentioned before, when the panel is completely folded, um, it does have a 24 inch length. But when it's completely um unfolded it does have a 88 inch length um so just a heads up on that um the solar panel the solar cells that are used are monocrystalline silicon solar cells um i think it does have a etfe film for protection um and also one thing about this uh, solar panel is that it's actually pretty flexible so yeah i mean it does have quite a bit of flex to it um just make sure that you don't flex the panels too much otherwise you might damage the product um also i forgot to mention i mean you probably already saw but it does have a very easy to hold handle and also let me show you how to fold it back up because when i um uh was uh because when i had it unfolded just like this it took me some time <laughs> and some brain power <laughs> to figure out how to fold it back up and uh so yeah let me show you guys how to fold it up again um basically what you want to do is just uh what's it called have the center part right over here go up and then you just fold the entire thing um just like that wait a second okay come on there go i just gotta grab the other end there we go and just like that it's folded and you know you got the handle once again um as i mentioned before that you can use to uh 
make it easier to carry the uh, panel around. And I yeah, just want to show that real quick because uh, when I unfolded it, <laughs> I was just like, wait, how do I put it back together? <laughs> um, yeah, most people probably won't have this type of problem, but for those that do, I just wanted to demonstrate how to fold it back up. And, uh, and uh, yeah, with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and wait for a sunny day and then take the panel and the Bluity power station outside to, to do a solar recharging test um, because it is cloudy today, so I won't have a chance to do the solar charging test today. All right, you guys, so just outside with the 200 watt Rofi solar panel. Um, and so, yeah, it is a pretty clear sky day, as you can see, um, just some misty clouds in the way. Um, it is December 25th, um, 1219 p.m. right there. I'm getting about 150 watts for, uh, with recharging this bloody AC2A power station. Um, yeah, 150 watts, that's pretty good uh, for a 200 uh, watt solar panel that is. Just taking a look um, at the way I have the panel set up. I do. I am using the kickstands right now. Um, and yeah, once again, getting some pretty good sun exposure on the panels right there. Um, and you know, I, just, I did start this test with the power station at 0%. Um, and I'm just gonna come back once the, uh, I don't know, I suppose when the sun goes down. Um, I expect to actually recharge this power station to 100% um, today. I mean, considering that it's like 12.20 right now, I'm gonna come back in about two hours to see the charging progress. Um, you know, a 200 watt panel is gonna do pretty good for recharging a power station like this that has a, what? It has a 204 watt hour capacity. Um, yeah, so I mean, I fully expect to recharge it back to 100%. Um, or at least close to it, uh, provided that this uh, sun exposure maintains throughout the day. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be right back to see what happens. Um, you know, these kickstands were easy to set up. All I did was just unfold the panel and <laughs> set up the kickstands um, and, you know, angle it at the uh, sunlight. And that's all I really had to do. I connected the included uh, um, MC4 to XD60 cable that came with the AC2 power station. And that was really about it with setting it up. Um, you know, I just had to wait for a, a pretty sunny day, which was today, Christmas day, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna come back to see what happens. You know, once again, it's actually recharging pretty quick. It's actually recharging pretty quickly. And I'll be right back to see the progress on it. All right, you guys, uh, so just back inside, uh, this is the day after Christmas and I, um, and I had to go to a family friend's house um, because they're throwing a Christmas party. Um, so I didn't have a chance to do the update the same day, um, but I did leave the Bluity power station and the panel outside uh, charging up um, basically all day, you know, from, I think, what, what was the time that I started? I think I started at about 12.30, was it, or 11.30? And, you know, from that point on, I just left it outside and I just forgot about it. Um, and, you know, and uh, when I came back at night, um, I found that the Bluity power station was at 96%. Um, so yeah, I mean, nearly 100% uh, fully recharged solely using this Rofi 200 watt panel. Um, so I mean, yeah, I mean, it worked. Uh, so my theory about, you know, having the uh, panel itself recharging the power station 200% or at least nearly 200% um, was basically true. Uh, you know, no surprises right there, to be honest. You know, once again, it's a 204 watt hour uh, capacity power station with a 200 with a 200 watt uh, max solar recharging speed. Uh, what matters most is that you use a powerful enough um, solar panel to recharge it with. And this Rofi solar panel um, did perform really well. You know, I was able to get 155 watts of solar recharging power. Um, after I stopped filming, I did see it go up to 160 watts uh, momentarily, um, but that's really about it. I didn't, it didn't get really over 160 watts. Um, I think that may have been because there are I think that may have been because there were a few clouds in the way. Uh, and also, <laughs> I didn't use the included um, MC4 to, uh, you know, six um, connection cable that was included in the box with the panel. Uh, my bad. That was that was on me. Um, I simply just grabbed the panel that came with the Bluity power station. Um, I, I didn't use this because, like, it didn't work or anything. I'm sure this would have worked. Um, I simply just forgot to use it. So, yeah, my bad on that part. Um, but yeah, overall, um, this this panel worked how it's supposed to. I, I have no complaints. Um, setting up setting it up was easy. All I did was just have to unfold it. Um, you know, direct the panels towards the sunlight, plug it into the power station, and then I just walked away basically. <laughs> 
Um, I will have a link down in the description below uh, for this panel. Um, and I will also have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com in case you want to read a review for the panel as well. And so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this panel down in the comments. And I will see you all on the next video. All right. Goodbye.